Hi Pisces singles. This is for anyone Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus in Pisces. Although personally I recommend that you watch the Moon sign because that seems to resonate the best, at least for me. We make a lot of our decisions, um, especially regarding love, based on how we're feeling as opposed to how we're thinking or how other people perceive us, so it just makes the most sense. Um, okay, so here we go. Pisces for the month of February 2018. <laughs> So your first card, this is the one that represents um, you and kind of like the current energy surrounding you in the month of February. So you're not defensive, which is good. You're not like um, pushing love away, which is also good. Um, you might be like out searching for love this month, whereas sometimes I feel like maybe the end of last year, Pisces were kind of just like sitting back. But now you're up and you're at it and you're thinking about it. And as a result, it looks like things are going to happen for you overnight. Just boom. So that's kind of cool. Um, it's like maybe you have to, I'm not saying that the first person that you talk to is going to be your soulmate that you keep around forever, right? But what could be happening here is you kiss a few toads and then all of a sudden you find your prince and it just comes out of nowhere and it's overnight and then it's like that kind of instant connection where you meet, um, you go on one date, then you can't be apart for like every day over the next, you know, couple weeks and before you know it, you're, you're deep in a relationship. So that's kind of exciting if that's what you're looking for. Now the next card is um, the behavioral patterns that you have in the month of February that affect your love life. And it's like you're very... You're very, um, this is interesting for a Pisces, you know, this is a very earthy energy. It's like paying attention to details, like working hard at the things that are important, including like, um, discerning what kind of partner I want. Cause sometimes Pisces can be kind of back and forth, you know, like they're looking for one thing and they're like, Oh, you know what? Actually I changed my mind and I kind of want this. So nope, I changed my mind. I think I want this. And so for you, this is a big deal. And maybe that's why it's so easy to meet your match. Like, and all of a sudden just boom, be in a relationship with them. So good. That'll help you. Um, so that was for the better, but for the worse, they're saying that um, some of you are maybe looking for a relationship um, subconsciously or maybe even consciously um, that has destructive or toxic patterns. And that could be um, an issue that you're aware of or you're not aware of. But it's just because it's what you're used to. Like, if you have a history of being in codependent or abusive relationships, obviously that's not what you're looking for on a conscious level, right? You're looking for somebody the next go around who is completely opposite because you realize that didn't make you happy. But then the trouble is, because that's what you're used to, it's what you're drawn to because there's like a certain level of comfort with that. And so, um, if you can be really conscious and aware of what your patterns are and the types of people you're drawn to, because nobody reveals their ugliest side of themselves like when you first meet, right? Um, let me just give you this cute example from my life. Uh, I When I was working one day, <laughs> um, there was this regular customer where I worked, and uh, he was like, he'd usually hang out at the bar a little bit longer than he did, and that day and I was like oh where are you going and he said well I have a date and I was like oh good because he had had um a divorce and he was like really depressed and all this stuff so he's getting back out there and I was like yay I'm happy for you so um I was like how do you think it's gonna go like are you excited what are you thinking are you nervous and um what are you gonna do so he's like well we're gonna go out to eat and um I'll probably spend like a solid 40 minutes lying to her about how awesome I am. <laughs> and I just, I'll, I'll never forget that because it was so honest, right? Like um, when you first meet people, they try to talk themselves up or, I mean, I guess some people are the opposite where they lay everything out on the table and they say, Here, here's all the bad shit about me. So like, if you still like me, we can continue. But otherwise, like, let's not waste each other's time. But a lot of times that's, that's what people do is they talk so much about how amazing they are and like sometimes it's half truths. <laughs> so just be cautious of that, okay? Um, really look at your, not that you're doing this, but 
but coming into contact with people like that because you could be um like on a subconscious level drawn to or attracted to people that are very similar to people from the past that were not good relationships. And so um, if you can bring that up to the forefront of your mind, you're more likely to be able to avoid it. Okay. So what kind of area of further growth do you have to do in order to find your true love? And they're saying um, just what I was talking about. Like if you're one of those people who has, um, some patterns that they're not, that they recognize, but they're not like really aware of where they're coming from. They say, figure out how to do the emotional work on that. And it sounds hard and challenging, but um, it is something that has to come down because otherwise you start to build relationships on shaky foundations, right? And they grow and they grow and they grow and you're, I don't know, five, 10 years deep in it. And then you have to jump ship in a really dramatic way. So this, um, these patterns have to kind of crumble and then build like a new, more solid pattern of behavior and you know thought in its place so I mean tarot card readings could maybe help you with that to a certain extent it might be something that you need to talk to a therapist or a friend about or who knows everybody uh, that's the trouble with a reading for an entire group of um, an astrological sect because you're all going to be on a different space in that continuum right you're all in a different area of the spectrum so I mean, I guess we wouldn't really know unless we did a personal reading. But um, looking at your next card, what are the things that you need to change in your process in order to attract this true love? And they say, just be patient. Because here's the thing about that overnight energy. So it's not saying you're going to watch this video and then tomorrow you're going to meet your soulmate. or um, But it's also not saying that you're going to have to wait forever either. It's just like you have to be patient. So maybe for one of you, you'll watch this video and then boom, the next day you'll fall like madly in love. You'll meet your match. Maybe for another one of you, it could be, you know, halfway through March, but then all of a sudden it's like boom overnight. So basically what it's saying is the universe is aligning so that you can meet someone that it'll be like overnight changes. Like things are move really quickly in a relationship. Um, like all of a sudden, boom, they're a part of your life. But it doesn't say that it's going to happen necessarily right away. It'll happen at different times for each of you. And so that'll require some patience on your part. Okay. And then your final card is um, what kind of things do you need to let go of in order to allow this love into your life? And they say, um, <laughs> I, I love that this came up. And so you have to let go of these traditional ideas that you may have about like the way that things work and how they should go. Because like I said, this person is gonna come into your life very quickly. So they may be a fire sign, they might not be, but basically what it's saying is like, you might have this idea of like, okay, well I don't sleep with people on the first date or I don't kiss on the first date. And I'm not saying you should change your morals or anything like that, that's not what I'm saying. But if you are the kind of person who has very like rigid or set rules on how things are gonna go, you might wanna be a little bit flexible like that with that because like I said, this is gonna come in really fast. Now what happens if, you're, um, if you don't become a little bit more flexible? Um, <laughs> they're like, it doesn't matter because a lot of you are gonna be in this um, cohabitation type of situation really, really quickly, no matter what. So it, all it's going to do is card, cause argument, you know, because basically it's like, you're going to cave, you're going to, you're going to really want to do this with them anyway. And so what do you want to argue about it for? Just be a little bit more open-minded. They say you might not have the full confidence to do it, but you'll just end up doing it. And <laughs> you're going to find that you're going to be, um, really optimistic and and kind of just like, ah, eh, well, whatever happens, happens. You're gonna feel really positive about it because it is such an exciting relationship and it just feels right, it just clicks. And this is because you've put a lot of work into thinking about what kind of a relationship you do want. So good for you, Pisces. I feel like I'm so excited actually because this is three for three. Sagittarius had somebody coming in, Capricorn had somebody coming in, and here you are, Pisces. Um, and if I remember correctly, I think Pisces in general had a really good month when I did the general readings, including a potential soulmate. So, hey, lucky. Well, I'm so excited to hear how your February goes. Um, as February progresses, after you've been a little bit patient, and all of a sudden somebody pops up, 
please don't forget to um, send me a note in the comments. That's so exciting. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention is um, I've decided I've been in a really blissful and happy mood lately. And I'm just feeling like really generous and loving. So I am going to give away a 20 minute video reading every month from now on until I'm sick of it <laughs> or until my heart chakra starts to close down a little um, or I get too busy or something. But um, so if you want to enter to win that, you only have to do it once and then you're automatically in the drawing every single month. Um, so you just go to the, my website, which is in the description box below, and you just um, click on, if you're on mobile, it's like a little smiley face, and you click on it at the bottom of your phone, and then it just says, yes, I want to manifest this. Otherwise, um, on a desktop or a tablet or whatever, there's like a little thing on the, I think it's the right hand side, and you're just like, yes, I want to manifest this, you know. So um, good luck if you try it. No pressure if you don't. But it is free, so whatever. And um, if you watch the Pisces video for February, your stone of the month was, that's a new thing I started doing because <laughs> I'm obsessed with crystals, but it was smoky quartz. So um, get yourself a smoky quartz. There's one there too if you're interested or you just need a reference to see what it looks like. But that'll help you to stay grounded. And the reason why I mentioned it in this video, even though I did it for the general video, is because... If you are one of those people who needs to figure out how to release that subconscious energy of um, kind of being drawn to the toxic relationships or the abusive or um, codependent relationships because it's familiar, this will help you to let go of all of that. It'll help you to release any negative energy or resentment that you have there so you can kind of like liberate yourself and then create something new. So. That's why that's important. Oh, guess what? I love it. I'm 11, min or 11 minutes and 44 seconds into this video. So a number message. Spirits like so got your back this month. I know I sounded like a valley girl. I didn't mean to. All I mean is, <laughs> is yay. So 11 is like the things that you're wishing for. Expect to start seeing those move and shift in February, especially if you are um, looking for more stability with the four. But the four and a four makes an eight, and then the eight is about, like, things shifting and changing really quickly and getting a lot better. But then the eight plus the two from the 11 is a 10, is a one, and it's new beginnings. Hurrah! All right, love you, Spicies. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat, like on Facebook.